question 1. Draw line segment AB of length 7.3 cm. So this is your line segment of length 7.3 cm having points A and B represented by dots because it's a line segment. Now and find its axis of symmetry. Well axis of symmetry is nothing but perpendicular bisector. So you have to keep this in mind. Now we will do it. First of all we will use this needle of this compass at B and draw a circle with radius greater than BO. Now this is a circle. Now again with the same radius we will put the needle at A and cut this circle at these two points. So done. Now we got B and C as two points. Now we will connect it with a dotted line. So this is your required perpendicular or axis of symmetry. This divides the 7.3 into two equal parts namely AO and OB. And this is also your axis of symmetry. So this was your first question. Second, draw a line segment of length 9.5 cm. Again, the same thing represented by dots because it's a line segment. Now, and construct its perpendicular bisector. Again, putting this needle on B and opening distance greater than OB and constructing a circle. Now, with the same radius, putting needle on A and cutting this circle at B and C. Now connecting both the points because we require two points to form a line. With a dotted line, we make perpendicular bisector. So it divides AB into AO and OB equally. That was the required answer. And this is how you construct your perpendicular bisector. Now third, draw the perpendicular bisector of line segment XY whose length is 10.3 cm. So again the same thing, we will construct a line segment XY with 10.3 cm length. Now we will take this needle again, place it at Y and construct a circle with radius which is greater than lines half. Now with the same radius we will construct another circle which cuts it at P e and C. We don't actually construct a circle, we just only get these two points. Now, take a point P on the bisector drawn. So this is the bisector and we will take a point P here. Examine whether Px equal to Py. So we have to join them first of all. Then only we can measure them. So, here we join Px and now we join Py. Now we will take our divider and measure it. Divider is used to compare not measure the distances. So you will find that both the distances are equal. Now B part. If M is the midpoint of XY line segment, so this is M. Yes, it is a midpoint because it is a perpendicular bisector in our case. So we will point it. Now what can you say about the length MX and XY? Well, we can say that MX, this is MX and this is XY. XY is complete. So it is very easy to say that XY is twice of that of MX because xm and my are equal and it is asking for xy in terms of xm so therefore we can say that your xy is equal to twice of mx this is because the distance of xy is two times of xm or two times of my you can take any one of it This was your question number third. Fourth, draw a line segment of length 12.8 cm. So this is a required line segment. Using compasses, divide it into four equal parts. Verify by actual measurement. So first of all, let's divide this AB half and we will divide it again two times half half. Therefore, it will complete four times. Let's do first part. Put your compasses at B and open with radius greater than FB. So, so almost here. Now we will make two arcs on above and down and from A doing the same thing, the same radius. So we get B and C as a points. So we will connect it. We have divided AB half. AB into equal parts. Now we will divide AF and FB separately. So that will make our four times. So now we do it by putting our needle at F
and then putting a needle at A and therefore we will get D and C as our points alright similarly we will put a needle at B with the same radius and mark two arcs and then put this needle at F and mark the points where it cut the earlier arcs at D and C so this is how we got the points now it's just a matter to connect these so we will connect these that is D and C and another D and C one, another part although you can name them all different so verify by actual measurement now when we compare it with the help of divider this all will come equal and if you compare it with ruler you can measure it that will be 3.2 cm so we have divided this 12.8 cm in 4 equal parts of 3.0 cm each that was the question 4 fifth with line segment PQ of length 6.1 cm as diameter for a circle so this is your required diameter but for a circle we need a radius so radius is half so clearly if we are able to bisect it we will get the radius so let's do that so put your needle at B open it little bit greater than OB and mark at D and C now put the needle at A and cut these B and C so wherever they will cut you get two points and we are able to make a line so it will be a perpendicular bisector so this is the center O we got and now it's just a matter to make a circle that crosses at D and C so this is how you make a circle when any diameter is given with the help of compasses sixth draw a circle with center C and radius 3.4 cm you'll put your compasses at this and draw a circle of radius 3.4 cm now draw a chord EB so what is the chord? it connects two points on the circumference and that do not passes through the center now construct the perpendicular bisector of line segment AB and examine if it passes through C so let's make that it's again easy just open your compasses with radius greater than this BC or the radius of the circle and cut it at this point and then put at A it will get your point where their arcs intersect now when you connect these lines you see that it passes through C that was asked in the question whether it passes through C well your answer is yes this perpendicular bisector of a chord passes through C so that was the sixth question seven repeat question six if line segment AB happens to be a diameter now this is just like the earlier question the only difference is now the chord is just a diameter so it will pass through C because diameter is the longest chord as it passes through center we will put our compasses at B and draw arcs at where this and open your compasses greater than the radius little bit greater than the radius now you will cut the circle at point B and below also do it from A you will get two points and when you connect these points B and E you can name it E the another point this perpendicular bisect of this diameter does cross from center C so this is what this question was asking Eighth, draw a circle of radius 4 cm. So we have drawn a circle with radius 4 cm. You can easily draw it in the center A. Okay, now draw any two chords. So we can draw two chords, namely WX and YZ, with the help of a scale and a pencil, and construct the perpendicular bisector of these chords. Now the idea remains the same. You have to just open. The compass is written with the half of the distance of the chord and then you can see you cut from here and here also because we need two points in order to connect that's why we cut from two points now from x we got the two points that cut the arc as well now we connect them now we do the same thing with y and c just open it just little greater than this half of the length by m now it cuts here and here as well it cuts the two points which is a circle okay rather than making a circle we just cut it at two points now from z as well we will do the same we got the two points we connect it 
now when you connect it where do they meet it is asking you the question so it always meets at the center so this is just the addition to the previous question that whenever the perpendicular bisector of a chord is drawn they will always go from center that was your eighth question ninth draw any angle with vertex o okay so we have instructed an angle with vertex o take a point a on one of its arms in b and another such that oa equal to ob we'll open our compasses and mark two points that is oa and ob so they will be equal since it will be the radius of a circle now we have done it we we'll draw the perpendicular bisector of oa line segment and ob line segment so you know the idea how to draw it just open it little bit half of the distance and cut it from the both places now from o we got two points you just join the line the dotted lines we got the perpendicular bisector similarly we will do for ob just open a little bit greater than the half of the distance of ob and you cut it two times and do the same thing from b as well now join ef now so the question says so it cuts at point p both these perpendicular bisectors now it is saying is pa equal to pb well we have to connect them so we have connected them so when you compare it with the help of divider you will see that indeed pa and pb are equal so that was the last question question number 9